Hello everyone and welcome back to the Bandito Resale video series 25 Days of Christmas Deals where we jump on eBay and show you some high selling high dollar selling items that you can obtain at your local thrift store, flea market, estate sale, garage sale, that type of thing. And this is one that I have experience in selling myself multiple times from finding it at both garage sales and thrift stores getting a little bit harder to find them at the thrift stores for decent prices because a lot of them are starting to realize that these are worth some money and they take up a lot of floor space but let's go ahead and jump right into it today's topic is blow molds so with blow molds before we get into it is there's a few different brands to look for when you're out there there's a couple jimmy ones g-e-m-m-y uh that are more modern but have been discontinued that are worth some money and you will see one of those in this series there is the General Foam brand, and then there is the Empire brand. Uh, I believe there's also one called Polaron that we'll be going through. So let's go ahead and show you some of these blow molds that you can make some money on this holiday season. And this first one here is this vintage Santa on his sleigh with his reindeer pulling him. Uh, obviously, this one is in very good condition and still has the original box, something that you really don't see that often with these blow molds. So this one is going to sell for quite a bit more money. That being said, as you can see here from this picture, even this one has some paint damage. Uh, obviously, these were Christmas decorations that were used outside, so they are going to have some cosmetic issues with them, even in good condition. But this particular set here, and there you can kind of see the brand, I'll be honest with you, I can't read that at all. But as you can see here, these sold for $1,199.99, so $1,200, with $200 in shipping. Uh, this one, obviously, you're not going to be able to ship at USPS. You're going to have to go UPS or FedEx, most likely. And some of these are so large that you may even have to consider freight shipping. But with the $1,200 for it, if you can find this for even 100 bucks, you are still set up to make a huge profit. All right, jumping on to the next, and that's one that's a little bit smaller, and that is this vintage 40-inch waving Santa Claus bowl mold. As you can see here, they made sure in the picture to show that he does light up and he does work. A little more basic of a bowl mold. There's the tag there, and as you can see, this is one from General Foam, one of those companies that I mentioned. Uh, this one sold for $416.49. Looks like they had a 15% off sale running. But they did offer free shipping on it. Chances are this item costs anywhere between $50 and $100 to ship just based on size. They're not very heavy, but the dimensions are going to be crazy. But even then, $316, if they are like me and they found this at a thrift store for like 20 bucks, their profit was basically insane. All right, moving on to this next one, and this is a brand that I was not familiar with and one that I have never seen before, so I definitely believe that it is rare, but this is a Becco 31-inch giant Christmas ornament. As you can see there, it's just a big ornament. It is a little bit faded in the middle, but you got Santa and his reindeer flying over the city, uh, and the fact that the graphics are still there are really most likely what matters to most buyers on this one. There's the other side of it. It's a church with a couple of pine trees on the side. Uh, as you can see, they made sure to take pictures that it was tested and working, and this one sold for $599.99 plus $95 in shipping, so $600. Uh, again, if they found this one at a thrift store even for $100, bucks, 500 dollars in profit, so... Definitely one to keep your eye out for. This one's probably going to be a little harder to find, though. That 40-inch Santa that we just covered, I've actually seen at a yard sale before. They had 50 bucks on it. I didn't want to spend it at the time. I probably should have. All right, so this next one is going to be the one from Jimmy, uh, the brand that also makes a lot of the Halloween animatronics. So this one's definitely a little bit more modern, and this is Max from How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Dr. Seuss book and movie. And Max here sold for $650 plus $20.20 in standard shipping. Being 25 inches, he is a little bit smaller and easier to ship, so less of a shipping cost there. But this is one to be on the lookout for. Again, since he was such a limited release and wasn't made uh, for that long, going to be a little bit harder to find. But if you do, money to be made. All right, this next one, honestly... 
gives me the heebie-jeebies. But some people think they're cute, and I'm okay if you do. It They just look weird to me. And that is these 50-inch Christmas carolers. This is a set with the boy and the girl Christmas caroler. And as you can see, these, honestly, for used blow molds are in great condition. Very, very little paint chipping. Just a little there on the hair. Uh, you can kind of see some manufacturer defects because some of the brown paint from the hair is on the face. And that happens with blow molds. Uh, but for the most part, these are in very good condition. I do wish they would have posted a picture of them lit up because we can't tell for sure if they work. But you guys are going to think this is pretty crazy because you see the sold price here for $2.99 on your screen. And I'm sure you were looking at that. But the shipping was $350 standard shipping. Most likely these were too big to ship via UPS or FedEx. And they either had to go freight or the seller had to go drop them off themselves. So you do see a higher shipping cost since we are talking about two. Uh, if you do find these separately, they do actually sell for about $150 each. So you do not need to find them together to be able to make a profit. All right, the next one we are going to look at is a Disney one. And this is from the brand Santa's Best, another brand that I didn't necessarily mention. Uh, but they do have some that are worth money. They're just going to be a little harder to find because people don't get rid of their Disney stuff. Usually Disney fans are crazy about Disney and love Disney and don't want to let those items go. As you can see, quite a bit of paint chipping on this one. But again, if it's what you can find, it doesn't matter. Uh, this one sold for $450. They did offer free local pickup if you were in California or $150 in shipping if they needed to ship it. All right, moving on to the next. And this one is just Santa's face. This one scares me a little bit too, but it's a 34 inch Christmas Santa Claus head from 1972. It is from that brand Empire that I mentioned earlier. And I don't know, there's just something about the rosiness of his cheeks and his nose that doesn't look right. And his mouth being that red looks weird to me. And I don't know. But either way, this was made to hang on a wall. Again, no pictures on if this one is tested or working, but I believe in the description it does say that it is. Uh, this sold for $400 plus $183.90 in standard shipping. Uh, I've seen this blow mold in person, and I think you probably could ship it for quite a bit less than that, but they are in New York. It might have sold to somebody in California and had to go all the way across the country. Uh, this is actually one that I still commonly see in like family-owned restaurants, and it'll be hanging on their wall just because it's been in their family forever and they keep it. I don't think most people know what these are worth, so this is one that you may be more likely to find at a thrift store for a lower dollar amount. All right, this next one is part of a set, and I was actually surprised to see how much they go for individually because the set listings went for a price where I think you'd actually do better separating them. And this is an Empire 60-inch Wise Man from the Three Wise Men from a Nativity scene. As you can see, this one not in very good shape. All the color is gone from his nose. There's paint chipping all up and down his robe there and his little satchel. Uh, all of that being said, this one's still sold. Now, we don't know the exact price because the best offer was accepted. They have it listed at $199.99. If I had to guess, they probably sold for closer to 100 to 150 but shipping on this was $240. So if you see one of these or all of these, definitely go ahead and pick them up. And speaking of a whole set of wise men, this is a different set of three wise men. These are from General Foam. Uh, and the three in this set, all in much better condition, except for a little bit of paint chipping on the blue robe there. Let's take a look at some of the other pictures here, just to show you what they look like. Kind of open on the bottom. You can see how the light bulb is in there. And yeah, these sold for $265 as a set with $165 shipping for all three. Fitting all three of those in a box to ship that aren't being shipped freight seems next to impossible to me, but if they did it, they did it. So yeah, but uh, as you can see, $265 for a set of three, whereas you may be able to get $150 to $200 for each one. Uh, not everybody needs the set. People are looking to get the set back together. So personally, I'd list them at $200 a piece, list them all separate, and make three times as much money. 
All right, moving on to another piece of a nativity scene from Empires, this 41-inch camel blow mold. Uh, the camel is a little bit harder to find and rare because there was a period when I was growing up in the 90s that I remember people stealing the camel and it was just the camel for whatever reason. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but here is one. <laughs> He's in decent condition. He's got a couple little cracks, a uh, decent amount of paint peeling, as most of these do, because they were used outside. But just the camel sold for $170.99 plus $164.87 in standard shipping. Now, keep in mind, these shipping prices are generally just estimates, and they're targeting my area. Uh... Oswego, Illinois is not that far from me. I am in Missouri. Also, if I mispronounce that city name, don't come for me. I don't know how it's pronounced, and I don't really care. But it's very possible that if you lived somewhere like New York or California, you would see a much higher shipping cost on this item. All right, moving on to the next, and this is one of my favorites, and that is this Santa's Best Frosty the Snowman with Cane Christmas Blow Mold. He is 43 inches, so quite a bit smaller. And he does look really good for his age. Uh, much more detail on the paint on this particular model, and I love how they used a Coke can to give you a size comparison there. As you can see, a little bit of paint chipping on the hat and on the scarf, but the colors are so much more vibrant. And my favorite thing to see in these listings, and this will definitely help your item sell, is this picture of it on... Uh, this one sold for $199.99 plus $134.79 standard shipping from Chicago. Again, one that I've seen in the wild before uh, that you could find and pick up for a profit. All right, and last but not least, let's jump into this little baby deer bl uh, blow mold. This is from the brand Polaron, which I do not see these as commonly, but I had heard of it before and knew it was uh, worth some money. As you can see here, I believe there's even a hole in the eye, and there's cracking all over it, and there's some paint issues, but, as you can see there, the ears do pop off. But even with all of that, this one still sold for $2.95 plus $25 shipping. I believe this one's a little bit smaller, so it was easier to ship. If we go down here, it does say there's a crack around the right eye, and it does not come with the screws to attach the inside light and body. So we don't even know for sure if this one works, and it sold for $300. All right, so that's it for today's video and all about those Christmas blow molds. If you're enjoying these 25 days for resale deals videos, please give us a like and subscribe to the channel down below, and we'll see you in the next one.